Hi everyone, namaste and welcome to this pranayam yoga session with me, Avinash. I will be your guide for today's practice and today's major focus will be on our breathing techniques. So the major focus is on breathing techniques. Now the breathing techniques which we are going to follow will help us to work on the health of our breath, the lung capacity, uh, the length of our breath and it will improve our breathing quality as well. Now before we start the breathing practices, we will just be going with a few warm ups which will help us to open up the body a little bit and warm up the spine. So when we're sitting throughout the practice of pranayam, it is easier for us to sit in a comfortable position. All right. Now, without any further delay, let's get started by first seated into a cross leg position. So Kasan. Keep your back straight, arms on the knees or hands in chin mudra. Shoulders relaxed and eyes closed. Let us start taking long inhalations and slow exhalations. Take deep and conscious breaths. With every breath, start to observe the expansion of your abdomen, your chest, and a bit of a lift coming naturally from your shoulders while inhaling. And with the exhalation, start to feel how everything is settling back to its place. Let us focus only on ourselves and don't let any other sound or any other thought distract you at this moment. Start to also observe your body. And observe, how are you feeling with it today? And let us join the hands to the heart center. Starting with three omkaras together. Take a deep breath, inhale. Slowly start to bring your palms, generate a good amount of heat. Make a cup of your palms, place it over your eyes, your facial muscles, and then very slowly open your eyes with a few blinks looking into your palms. Wonderful. Perfect. Now let's uh, get started with our warm ups for today. So first warm up which we are starting with is going to be starting from the Sukhasana itself. From Sukhasana, let us take our right hand behind the back and left palm on the right knee. And with the exhalation, take a gentle twist and try to look back. Inhale and twist, come back. Exhale from the other side. Inhale, come back and keep changing like this. Three from the right, four from the left. Keep moving. Five from the right. Six from the left. Seven from the right. Eight from the left. Nine from the right. And last ten from the 
left. Wonderful. With inhalation, come back to the center. Moving ahead next by first coming into a tabletop position. And from the tabletop position, let us keep the shoulders exactly over the wrist, knees underneath your hips. Take the toes out, going ahead into Marjuri Asan, which is cat and cow pose. Take a deep breath, inhale, an arch from the back and try to look up. Exhale, hunch and pull the chin close to the chest. Inhale, arch. Exhale, hunch. Inhale, arch. Exhale, hunch. Another two more times. Inhale, arch. Exhale, hunch. One last time. Inhale, arch. Exhale, hunch. And very slowly come back to the center. Now from there, very slowly turn your toes in. Lift your knees off the floor. Going back into a mountain position. And from the mountain position, we will start with a pedaling. So from here, you bend one of the knee and keep the other straight and then change. You bend one of the knee and straighten the other. Now when you do this, you feel the stretch coming to the leg which becomes straight and just like this, looking back only, keep moving for another 10 counts. One, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Very slowly, make the knees straight. Keep your both the knees down on the ground, and then very slowly sit back into Vajrasan. In Vajrasan, very slowly interlock your fingers, flip the palms out, and stretch your hands up from the front. Let the hands stretch up. Let the spine lengthen. Stay there. Five, four. Three, two, and one. Very slowly bring your both the hands down from the front and unlock your fingers. After that, very slowly take yourself down once again back into Sukhasan. And from Sukhasan, let us join the soles of our feet. Bring the heels close to your hips and start to flap your knees up and down. Medium pace to fast pace, how much ever you're comfortable with. And let's go ahead for another 10 counts. One, two, keep the back straight. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Well done. Very slowly take your legs back and once again back to the Sukhasan. Perfect. Now we're done with the warm ups. Hopefully, the body is loosened up for you a little bit. Now, let us move ahead with our first breathing technique of the day, which is known as Bhastrika. So Bhastrika is a combination of forceful exhalation as well as your inhalations, active inhalations, active exhalations. How you have to perform it is you have to inhale forcefully or you can say you have to inhale more actively. And when you exhale, you exhale slightly forcefully. Okay, so from here, you have to inhale like this and exhale out, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, all right. When you're doing this, you also have to make sure that you are using your hands. So we will be keeping our hands something like this. We raise the hands up when we inhale and when we exhale, we bring the hands down almost to your shoulder level, something like this, okay? Both the hands will be in a fist, so it will start like this. All right, just like this, we have to do it for about 20, uh, 20 repetitions. Once we're done with 20 repetitions, we will go in a relaxing mode by taking normal breaths, and then we'll go with the second set. So two sets of this. Now, remember, when you're doing this practice, don't uh, don't miss on the coordination of the hand and the breathing. If you don't want to use your hands, just use the breathing. Second is when you're doing this practice, if any history of hypertension or high BP, either avoid this practice or do it with very mild intensity. Otherwise, just avoid the practice and focus on deep inhalation and slow exhalation. Okay, let's get started by taking the hands up, close your eyes and start.
and relax. Just take a moment and breathe normally. If you're moving at your own pace during the practice, don't worry, you can go with slow repetitions or fast repetitions depending on what's comfortable for you and how it is comfortable for you to breathe. And once again, moving into the second round of Bastrika, take your hands up into the position, fist in and start. and relax. Once again, back to the natural rhythm of your breath. Let the eyes be closed only. And then very slowly, open your eyes now with a few blinks. Wonderful. Perfect. Now let us move ahead with our next breathing technique. Which is known as Surya Bhedi Pranayam. So uh, for Surya Bhedi Pranayam, what we have to do is we have to focus on the right nostril inhalation and left nostril exhalation. As simple as that. Once you start to breathe, try to make sure that the amount or the count of your inhalation is from the right nostril is the same duration from the exhalation. So let's suppose if you're mentally counting for five counts and you're inhaling for five counts, try to exhale also for five counts, not less, not more, just five inhalation, five exhalation. If you're comfortable, then increase it by six, seven, eight, how much ever you can do from your side. Just make sure that you're comfortable while breathing. It's not that you are, uh, you know, inhaling too deep and then exhalation is very happening very fast. Okay, so have that control over the breath. Now, first things first, let's take the right hand, first two fingers in. Close your left nostril with your ring finger. Take a deep breath, inhale, first from the right nostril. Close your right nostril and exhale out from the left. Just like this. Please continue with closed eyes. Inhale from the right. Exhale from the left. Continue to breathe at your own pace and with your own duration.
and relax. Just release your nostril, come back to the natural rhythm of your breath. And then very slowly, open your eyes with a few blinks. Wonderful. Okay, so just the way you moved into Surya Bhedi Pranayam, which uh, was right nostril inhalation and left nostril exhalation. Now we're going to go just the opposite of that with left nostril inhalation and right nostril exhalation. This is known as Chandra Bhedi Pranayam. So to balance the other side, let's inhale from the left nostril, exhale from the right nostril. Now if you were successfully able to increase the duration of your breathing, Try the same here as well and be aware of it from where you start, from how many counts you start. And as the breathing becomes easier for you, as the breathing becomes comfortable for you, see how much you can increase the count of it. Okay. Once again, take the right hand, first two fingers in, close your right nostril and inhale from the left nostril first. Exhale from the right. Continue at your own pace. And relax. Just take a moment. Once again, back to the natural rhythm of your breath. And then very slowly open your eyes once again with a few blinks. Awesome. Perfect. Moving ahead with our next breathing, which is known as Nadi Shodhana Pranayam. Now, Nadi Shodhana Pranayam is an alternate nostril breathing. When we are doing the Nadi Shodhana Pranayam, uh, just make sure that again the duration of your inhalations and exhalation matches as much as possible. And when you are doing the practice, by now if you are feeling that your mind is wandering a little bit or when you are in the practice you are feeling that you are not able to keep a proper count through your mind, just make sure that you are bringing yourself back again and again to that count and again and again to the breathing so it is easier for you to focus and it is easier for you to measure the duration of your breaths. Okay? And if you feel that you are just focusing on the breath but the back is hunching a little bit, by now if you want, 
if you really want you can take a support of the wall and just maybe you know keep the back against the wall but if you are able to please try to be aware of the body as well and don't let your spine hunch make sure your spine is straight okay let's get started going ahead into nadi shodhana pranayam first taking the right hand first two fingers in close your right nostril with the first two fingers uh, sorry uh, with your thumb and just follow me take a deep breath inhale from your left nostril close your left nostril and exhale out from the right inhale from the right nostril exhale from the left once again inhale from the left nostril exhale from the right inhale from the right nostril exhale from the left inhale from the left nostril exhale from the right inhale from the right nostril exhale from the left inhale from the left nostril exhale from the right inhale from the right nostril exhale from the left and relax release the nostril one more time come back to the natural rhythm of your breath and then very slowly with your closed eyes lie down on your back on the mat keep your feet apart hands away eyes closed just take a moment into your shavasan to relax and to deepen the relaxation we will go with the humming sound first for about 3 times together take a deep breath inhale
and relax. Just feel the calmness and the relaxation throughout the body and the mind. Very slowly come back to your body consciousness now. Sensitize your toes, your fingers, palms, and start to feel your complete body. Very slowly bring your feet together. Stretch your both the hands above your head, interlock your fingers, flip the palms out and start to stretch your complete body. And relax. Very slowly take a turn towards your right side. Your right hand underneath your head and left palm in front of your chest as a support. With the support of your left palm, slowly try to come up and sit in any comfortable position. Let us join the hands to the heart center and we'll start with one Om and three Shanti together. To conclude the pra practice, take a deep breath, inhale. Shanti, Shanti, Shanti. Slowly start rubbing your palms, generate a good amount of heat. Make a cup of your palms, place it over your eyes, your facial muscles, and then very slowly open your eyes with a few blinks looking into your palms. Awesome. Thank you so much everyone for joining me in this Pranayam Yoga session today. I hope you're feeling completely calm, relaxed and fresh with the body, with the mind and very, very calm with the breath also. I will be looking for your valuable feedback on our Facebook community, Stronger Together with Cult Fit Home. Until then, please take care of yourself. I'll see you once again in another session. For now, this is me, Avinash, signing off. For more such workout videos, download the Cult Fit app now. Also, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. We are Cult.